Here's your first alert weather forecast from Chief Meteorologist Lexi Walker. 613 and welcome back to Good Morning Tech Selma on this Wednesday. We have already our next area of low pressure that is going to be moving across the lower 48, bringing us some rain chances as well as the possibility for some rain as we head into Friday. Here's water vapor imagery and you can see where we have some moisture. We have some moisture here down into parts of New Mexico, but the system I'm referencing is this one here. This is that area of low pressure that's bringing a lot of moisture to Northern California, Oregon as well well as Washington State and here's what's going to happen. That area of low pressure is eventually going to be moving closer to the Pacific Northwest and it's going to actually split into two different systems. We have this low pressure, the first one rather, and this is going to be moving across our viewing area, bringing us a cold front Sunday, but also the chance for some rain as we head into Friday afternoon and evening. So the ridge of high pressure that we're under right now will eventually weaken because of that area of low pressure. But look what happens here as we head into next week. This low pressure, it moves eastward and then we have this another ridge of high pressure that sets up. It isn't going to be as strong as the one that we're under now, but nonetheless, it is going to keep our temperatures still on the warm side. But when it comes to our coverage for rain on Friday afternoon and evening, highest is going to be across the eastern half of the viewing area with lower amounts out towards the west. And there could be some small hail and damaging winds through the afternoon and evening. But despite the clouds that are expected today or throughout the next several days, we're still looking at those highs into the 70s. T today we'll be at 72 degrees, 72 for your Thursday, 70 on Friday, and then we slowly start to drop off. We'll see 64 for Saturday, 60 on Sunday. Sunday morning that cold front moves in. So yes, we're still looking at those temperatures dropping to around the upper 50s for Monday afternoon, but we already see that rebound taking place with that ridge of high pressure as head into next week and we'll be back into the 60s and 70s before we know it. But again, this is still above average for us for this time of year. Lexi, keep giving us this good news because it is enjoyable getting a break from those cold winds. Oh, absolutely. Light winds, sunshine. You can actually enjoy being outside and the muddy grounds dry up. It, it's a decent forecast for sure. Well, thank you, Lexi.